Okay, another kit. Um, I think this is a radio. Um, it's an interesting radio, though. Um, let's take a look. Kinds of stuff. Um, this looks like earbuds, so no, no speaker. Oh, it'll use uh, maybe use earbuds. I put put them over here. Um, let's see. Okay. Ah, here's the package. So it's going to go inside this. Case. There's a little battery compartment on the back, and looks like that. And there's two buttons: uh, reset and scan. So I'm assuming uh, it's like an FM. It'll scan through the FM band and, and stop when it finds a channel. And then this looks like it's a volume knob uh, with an on-off switch on it. So, let's take a look what we got. Oh, oh no! <laughs> they went everywhere! Oh dear! Oh no! Oh, this is going to be bad. My little parts flying across my bench. And it is not... Make me happy. Shoot. Uh, well, there's some of them. The interesting thing about, oh gosh, the interesting thing about this kit is its surface mount. Um, so there are some surface mount parts on the bottom and a bunch of through hole parts on the top. So we will have to figure out what goes where and whether or not. I just threw all my parts away across my bench and I won't be able to assemble it. Oh, uh, I'm sure we'll find something or make make something new. Uh, looks like here's the here's the knob the knob knob part. So uh, and wow, there is nothing on this board to tell me where to put anything. So. I'm going to have to go see if I can find an assembly procedure for this thing. Um, this is not looking easy. So I'll be back. All right. Well, fortunately, there is a, a blog site on GitHub uh, that tells you how to put this thing together. Um, so we will be going through this thing. It is very detailed. Uh, it says you buy this thing for two dollars and fifty cents, and it comes in a bag, and probably tells you watch out when you open the bag, otherwise you'll throw it all over <laughs> all over your bench, which is what I did. I'm not really pleased with that. Um, all right, so uh, we can take a look to see if we have everything. Um, or we'll just try to start putting it together and go back to see which one, which item that we have failed at. Um, here's the schematic. Um, let me zoom in a little bit. Let's see here. That's a little better. So a single chip, a SCI, no, SC1088. And regular radio parts, inductors, and capacitors, and some couple transistors, look like that's the power amplifier section, uh, or the headphone amplifier section. Uh, oh, here's another schematic. Looks the same. Ah, here's the PC board. And it tells us uh, Parts to put on the board, good. Um, let's see. And wow. 
Yeah, this board's much, much nicer. <laughs> uh, much nicer than the one I've got. So I guess the first step is put these components on. These are all the surface mount components, so we'll uh, get some solder paste out, put all the parts on, reflow it. I guess that's the first step. And then, uh, why didn't he reflow the uh, IC? I guess he's putting this on by hand. Yeah, he's putting them on by hand. Which, probably if I was smart, that's what I would do too, but since I have an oven, I'm going to try that, see what kind of trouble I get into. It says the chip is from a company called Silan Semiconductors, never heard of them. Or Silan, S-I-L-A-N, Silan. Uh, Chinese company. Um, yeah. Hmm. All right. Well, I'm going to start putting... Uh, surface mount parts on and see if I can't get everything uh, get everything loaded. All right, I have all the parts uh, down on the board with uh, with solder paste. Uh, so uh, let's see if we can reflow it. See what happens. Uh, this is a really cheap PC board. It's a single-sided PC board, no vias. Um, so, uh, we shall see. Never soldered one of these before. Well, have I? Yeah, maybe one of the solder kits. Yeah, we'll give it a try. Yeah, this, uh, this turned out really good. Uh, I'm surprised. Um, all of the, uh, all the solder, solder joints are great. None of the parts moved really much, and, um, even the IC came out great. So, okay. All right. Next to the next step is to uh, try to find the uh, through hole components and start loading them. The looks like the through hole components go on this side of the board. Um, so we got that side done. Let's start working on this side. Okay, we've uh, got uh, some of the components on here. Uh, two switches, the capacitor. This is a uh, Oh, what do they call them? It's the tuning capacitor. Um, anyway, two tuning capacitor. Um, it's a it, it's it's capacitance varies with voltage. Uh, that's the way you tune this thing. Um, there's a five turn and an eight turn, and then a funny little uh, ferrite. Uh, these inductors. Um, yeah, uh, a couple of capacitors, resistors. Um, that might be an inductor there, I'm not sure. Anyway, the color was right. <laughs> I'm just following this website. Uh, in case I didn't mention it, the website is uh, uh, satoshinm.github.io. So, satoshinm is one word in uh, github.io. And I would not be able to do it without this. Uh, so, uh, that's been a big help. Uh, I think we have a couple more things to go, and then uh, try to fit this thing in its case. Oh, I thought I'd show you the backside too. Um, the clever thing is this uh, potentiometer sits in this hole and then it just solders to some pads, so you don't need any uh, wires or anything, it just solders right on the board. So that's kind of clever. Alright, so uh, I have put it in its case. And there's a battery compartment back here. Get these wires out of the way. So I can some batteries. They take uh, AAA batteries. So I'll put this one in. I'll put this one in. Oh, maybe not. There we go. And battery cover. All right. So let's turn the power on. Ah, and the LED comes on. Can you see that? Yeah. Well, that's pretty exciting. Um, oh. Let's zoom out a bit here. I have uh, the earphones. 
So let me put the earphones in. Uh, let's see here, left and right. All right. Uh, put this in here. Turn it on. Oh, I hear music. Wow. Let me, uh, it works. <laughs> I was shocked. Uh, let me let me see if I can hook it up to my stereo here. Um, the auxiliary in. Let's plug that in there. Let's get the uh, have it set to aux in audio in. If that's right. Plug this in. See if that works. There you go. And so YouTube probably heard that. It's gonna kill me. Anyway, <laughs> uh, it seems to work. Um, so, uh, would I recommend this kit to anyone? Wow. Uh, only if you're a glutton for punishment. It's not the easiest kit in the world. Um, certainly. Do not do it as your first or second kit, um, but uh, if you want to get some experience with surface mount, uh, it does have that in it. Um, it is a bit fiddly, um, so you, you do need to have patience putting it together. Um, there is that great website, the Satoshi uh, website, um, that will help you do it. Um, so that's that's good. So if you want to, um, I'd say an expert project. Uh, expert level project this is probably something you can take a look at uh, the, certainly the price is right um, I imagine there's gonna be a ton of people who buy these things and will fail immediately um, and never get it built uh, but if you have patience then you've done some surface mount and um, you take your time uh, can't get it to work so 